Megan Thee Stallion is inspiring people to enroll in college, but by her own example, showing that you can do it on your own terms. I'm Doma T. Pungo, and this is MTV News. Need to know. Megan Thee Stallion proudly graduated from Texas Southern University with a degree in public health earlier this month. And TSU's health admin director, Dr. Monica Rasmus, told TMZ that Meg is inspiring TSU dropouts to re-enroll and finish what they started. Meg had been pursuing her degree since 2013 while also juggling her music career, all in hopes of opening assisted living facilities in her hometown of Houston. This influx of students at Meg's alma mater is going against the national trend of young people rethinking the idea that college is even necessary. This past year, freshman enrollment dropped by 16% nationwide. But interestingly enough, there was a 70% increase in people completing short-term credential classes. A study by Timely MD found that more and more Gen Zers are ditching degrees and opting for certifications and one-off community college classes, largely a result of the pandemic. Despite most colleges' struggles to get folks to sign up, we are seeing a significant increase in enrollments at historically black colleges and universities. And the influence of pop culture on decisions like higher education can't be overstated. Shows like A Different World, Fresh Prince, and Martin made HBCUs attractive to a generation of black millennials before. And now, influential black celebrities like Meg are having a similar effect on Gen Z. Beyonce iconically celebrated HBCU culture with her 2019 Coachella set in which she paid homage to classic homecoming celebrations. In March, LeBron James partnered with Nike to provide shoes and uniforms for athletes at FAMU. And over the weekend, Serena Williams and Michael B. Jordan collectively donated $1 million during an HBCU basketball tournament in Newark, New Jersey. And by the way, none of these celebs actually went to HBCUs. They just understand the importance of empowering under-resourced institutions and students. As a result of this growing interest, college athletics are also enjoying the moment as top basketball and football recruits have committed to HBCU schools. This year's number one football recruit, Travis Hunter, shocked the college football world when he chose to go to Jackson State over Florida State to play for coach Deion Sanders. Sanders, an NFL Hall of Famer, is working to restore the days when Jackson and other HBCUs were pro-athlete pipelines. This hasn't happened in decades because white legacy schools have acquired much more resources and exposure. And in an industry largely driven by black talent, this new focus on HBCUs could change the future of sports as we know it. NFL commentator Jim Trotter told The Athletic, when I was at Howard, we used to lament top black recruits choosing predominantly white institutions over black colleges and universities. Imagine the impact it would have on resources and visibility if they stayed home. Gen Z's relationship to higher education and making non-traditional choices is a reflection of our times. They've seen how student loan debt has negatively impacted millennials before them. And they're seeing how college grads are dreading January when student debt payments will resume after being halted to offset hardships of the coronavirus. They get that this is a crisis and are disillusioned by the political system that is failing to respond. Last week on the show, The God's Honest Truth, Charlemagne the God asked Vice President Kamala Harris why no progress has been made on canceling student debt. And she sidestepped the question. This desire to go non-traditional routes and the propensity to lean into social justice go hand in hand. Chief Academic Officer of Howard University, Anthony Wuta, told Black Enterprise, we're attracting students who have a significant interest in social justice and an interest in addressing what they see as the ills of society. There's something to be said for Gen Z recognizing they don't need a traditional college experience or steps laid out for them by previous debt-riddled generations. They're still getting educated and pursuing professional advancement, but in a way that makes sense for them. Even if that means taking some classes here and there, dropping a mixtape, and coming back later in your 20s like Meg did. This is a good look for a generation of young people who are ready to upend the status quo. I'm Doma T. Pungo, and that's what you need to know.